Hey there, what's going on? It's Reverend Ron here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Zoom meeting or webinar meeting for your workshop. So uh, first thing you're going to do is go to zoom.us, click sign in, and then go ahead and sign in. And while I'm doing this, feel free to um, feel free to um, uh, pause the video when needed and, and follow right along with what I'm doing. Okay. So once you log in, it's going to take you to, um, meetings, right? And you'll see any existing meetings that you have scheduled. And what you want to do here is go to the right and click schedule a meeting. Um, so for this, I'm just going to call, I'm just going to set this up for a client. I can always change the title and add a description later. So here is where you're going to set the date where it says when. So I'm going to set this for the 24th. It's going to be an hour and 30 minutes. I want to do it at 7 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Now you want to definitely click this registration required that way zoom collects their email and any other integrations that we got to do um, it just works I would select uh, suggest this doesn't matter generate automatically your personal meeting ID um, I would not do passcode um, waiting room is um, putting people in like a pre uh, a room um, before coming into the the weeding the the meeting space, I suggest that you leave this on so you the host and anyone else can um, admit people to the room prior to all your attendees being there. So I, I do suggest having waiting room on, uh, host video on, participant video on. Options here: you want to do allow participants to join anytime. Definitely do mute participants upon entry. Otherwise, when people come into the Zoom room, they can be making noise and yelling at their kids in their bathroom or driving with their, they got the radio on. Um, so definitely keep that um, checked. You can always uncheck it uh, during your live meeting if you want to unmute people and allow them to speak. Um, I do suggest selecting automatically record the meeting. I'm uh, a frequent you know, uh, violator of forgetting to hit record. <laughs> so, uh, I do automatically record the meeting and I also do it in the cloud. Um, that way, um, multiple people could access the recording by logging into zoom instead of just one person that has the recording on their computer. So then you're going to click save. And this is the zoom registration link. What I would definitely do here is um, add this to your calendar. You can click that, click it again. It goes on to um, whatever calendar you want. Cool, got my calendar there. And this is cool too. Um, if you ever wanted this link um, where people can just click a link and it automatically joins them to the calendar, you can do Google and Yahoo, don't, I mean, Google and uh, Outlook or Google and Outlook also works for iCalendar. Don't worry about Yahoo. Um, but you want to hit control or right click and then um, copy link address. And then anytime, and then you can paste it, right? And anytime people click that link, boom, this meeting thing downloads and it adds to their calendar in the bottom left here. It just did that there. So um, that's how you set up the zoom portion of your uh your webinar um let me go over these settings real quick actually email settings um yep this is send upon registration email contact email language yep branding this is cool so if you want to you know put a uh a logo here i do recommend that you do that 
but um, which I got to find somewhere here. Um, but all you do is upload a picture and it gives you the dimensions right here, um, which you can, you know, resize any picture by putting it into canva.com and uh, doing that. So you can put your logos in there and that's cool. Polls I usually don't mess with, survey I don't mess with, live streaming. I just want to make sure that I have that capability, Facebook, YouTube, okay. Registrations, um, I can edit here if I want to, anything there, questions. Um, I don't make, that's cool, I can unmake last name required. Um, and that's one less thing to fill out. So I'm gonna do uh, save all there. So definitely unchecking that last name. It um, gives more, the less fields, option things people have to fill out, the more likely they are to register. It's um, definitely proven there. So I'm gonna click save all. And I think those are all the, everything that you'd wanna know um, for your, uh, you know, webinar, webinar or workshop. Now, um, meetings, the main difference between a meeting and a webinar is meeting, you can see other people and that you can interact with them more. They can, they can, you know, see your camera, they can see your camera. Um, webinar, it's just, you can't see anybody. They can see you and your screen. So it is more like a, you know, like a one way kind of conversation. You can have the chat open and chat with people that way. Um, but if you want to have uh, more interaction, I do suggest going with meeting and um, also upgrading the webinar is usually um, a higher package, uh, higher package here. Um, and this account doesn't have it. So we're definitely going to use meetings. Um, then you know, you'll, you know, you'll see it here, Masterworks Workshop. So anytime you want to grab that link again, you'll go meetings, click on it, and you have this registration link. So that's how you set up the Zoom portion of your workshop.